going to be creating a work live here on our show. Now we're going to talk about some of the pieces that you brought as well throughout the next hour and a half, but let's get started. Okay. And um, when we talk about creating a piece, what materials do you work with? How do you get started in creating something? Great question. Well, first you have to have something to paint on. Okay. And so I've prepared some little panels this morning um, that are sort of smaller scale. These are some of the smaller pieces from the show. The bigger ones were too big to bring into the studio today. What are these made of? These are something called MDF. It's like a um, composite board. Um, I like to use w real wood, but it warps once you frame it. And so this is a, a material that won't warp. It's just a, a good base. And then this is gesso, um, which is a highly pigmented white paint. So it's sort of the foundation. That's kind of like your base coat. Mm -hmm. OK. Right. Then what? Then what's next? OK. So next, we have all these fun things to play with. And these were nocturnes, and there's a lot of that. So I have some, these are all water-soluble materials. Okay. Um, and so I have some black acrylic. And then this is something called gouache, which is like watercolor with more pigment in it. Um, and some pastels and watercolor pastels and um, other dry media that work with, or um, water soluble media that all sort of integrate together. So, so you're using definitely different types of materials. Lots of it's stuff. Not like you can, it's not like you're just using just acrylics, just oils, or just water. Color. Right. Um, right. But when we say water soluble, it means that they all kind of work together. So, so it is an organic process. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen or what I'll end up using or what I won't use. And you'll, if you look close, you can kind of see that some things look like they're more drawn and some things look like they're more painted. And that's just the result of using different materials. As, as they evolve. I bet that gives it some very cool texture as well. Yeah, I think so, and some fun atmosphere. This painting, this series in particular, has a lot of atmosphere, um, and then a lot of mark making, so Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. going to let you get started here. Okay. I have one more question sure. for you. As you're beginning a piece, like, do you have a concept in mind already, or are you just kind of free-forming here? Well, usually I sort of know where I'm going with it, and that's sort of where I get the material, where I'm starting, I should say. Okay. That's where I know how to, which materials to choose. Um, but like today, I really have no idea, so we'll see what happens. Okay, that's what I kind of <laughs> like that. So right okay. now, it's an open canvas, basically, for you, and right. I'm going to let you get started. I'm going to watch you get started here. We're going to check in with you um, okay. throughout the show and watch the pieces being created live. Okay. So, okay, you so much, you just talk me through your beginning process. Okay, well, um, gosh, I don't know. Okay, so I was going to take some of the black paint and some of the other materials to just sort of get sort of the atmosphere and the feeling of some pieces. And I'm okay. working on, um, when I do this kind of painting, I, I don't like sit down and just have a piece and say, okay, now I'm painting this painting and I paint it and then I move on. I'm sort of working on them all at the same time. So this series is 24 pieces that all happened at the same time. I would put one down as it was drying and work on another one and see you know, a piece of pink paint that I really liked and I wanted to use that on another piece. So it's really a dialogue between all of the pieces that I'm working on. So okay. feel free to <laughs> you'll see that happen. And, like, start working okay. on different things. And Great. I'll check in on with you as you kind of conceptualize what's going on and explain to us what we're seeing. Fun. Very excited to have you here, Miss Thanks. Anna. Thanks so much. Looking forward to your show. I'm going to let you get started. We'll check back in a few. Thanks. Okay, we will be right back. Plus, we're going to check in with a resident painter, Anna Redwine. She's working away this morning. Check it out now. Good Day is back. Just a couple of minutes. All right, we are back. Now, we're taking a look now at some work by Miss Anna Redwine. She is going to be the resident artist at Gallery 80808 beginning next week on the 25th. So we're lucky enough to have her here today to give us kind of a preview of not only her work but her process as well. So thanks for coming down so early this morning. Well, you're welcome. Um, I'm just starting to wake up and as you see I've done a little bit of painting but do you want to try? I totally do. <laughs> okay, so Anna started these creations less than an hour ago and you've already gotten a lot done here. So you showed us the materials that you're working on. I right. noticed you put a black base on top and what have you been doing since? Right. What are we working towards and how am I going to be <laughs> creative with you here? Well, you're just going to do whatever you feel like, okay. which is basically what I'm doing. And I'm thinking about it, and I, I cut some flowers yesterday for my house, and I think that's what's informing some of these images. Because um, you asked earlier where everything comes from, and I right. think that's kind of where it's coming from. And thinking about the weather. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm using, <laughs> you can do whatever you want, but just to give you some guidance, I'm using this paper towel, and this is some black acrylic, and this is some gouache. It's a little thinner. Okay. Um, and I'm just kind of smooshing it around and okay. using my fingers if you're comfortable with that. No, I'll use the paper towel. That's okay. okay. So you can use all kinds you of things You can use whatever as, you want. As tools and instruments. Absolutely. That's exactly right. And even the drawing materials themselves, you can kind of see this was some white paint, and then I went back in with um, a strong, like a stiffer, like a drawing material, and I kind of pulled away. So that makes some lines within within the paint, but then it also creates new lines and it kind of pulls that paint 
around. Um. I love this. <laughs> this kind of shows you how much of an artist I'm not because it was sort of news to me to learn that you mix all these different materials. I thought if you worked in acrylics, you were kind of stuck with acrylics, but you're mixing in chalk and all kinds of different items. Right, yeah, as long as they're compatible. So you wouldn't want to mix in like oils or turpentine with it. I mean, I guess you could, but okay. it wouldn't be, it, you know, last very long. Okay. Um, okay, so how about if you want to take a stab at this one, okay. there's a lot going I'll on there. I'll go for this one. Okay, and this is some chalk, so this is going to kind of, you can smush it like okay, that. Okay, see, I like that. Maybe it? I'll use some chalk. Okay. Go for it. So okay. tell <laughs> us now about your process. Once you kind of get the foundation started, real okay. quickly, we just have a couple seconds sure. here. How do you, uh, what, what, what goes through your mind while you're in the middle of creation? Well, ideally nothing. I really try to get in a place where I'm not um, being, where I'm not controlling it too much. I'm trying to really s surrender to, um, I don't want to say my subconscious, that sounds cliche, but I'm trying to just tap into to other um, other senses, so I'm trying to think about memories that I smell, something intense experiences of, you know, like when it was really um, just intense experiences. And so I'm trying to translate that onto the surface. So you're thinking about your life and what made impacts on you, and then you right. just kind of let your fingers and hands do what they do while you're thinking about it. Exactly, that. and then I would hope that you would, it would evoke something like that for you when you see it. Okay, I don't know. See, I don't know what I'm thinking about right now. I'm just well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Thinking start. about learning from you, <laughs> actually. So, okay, this is really kind of fun. I want to see what happens. Yeah. After I keep just kind of I'm and just smushing. feel free yeah, to do smushing. whatever. Yeah. All right. Well, we're talking with Miss Anna today because she's going to be having a show. It's called Nocturnes, and it's going to be at Gallery 80808 Vista Studios beginning May 25th, running through June 5th. So you'll have 10 days to see this. But stay with us because we're going to be speaking with Anna a few more times throughout the show today, and we'll see what creations arise. It's fun. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we'll be back. We are back now, and it's Thursday. We always talk about the arts and events going on around the Midlands. Well, today we have an actual artist, local, who will be the artist in residence at Gallery 80808 in about a week's time. May 25th, your show starts, and this is Miss Anna right. Redwine. Thanks for coming down this morning. Thanks for having me. And painting. So we've been doing <laughs> some live artwork. Anna's been working on this for over an hour. We talked about your materials. We talked right. about how you get started in conceptualizing and getting stuff, mm -hmm. you know, on your panels or canvas, whatever you're working on. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit while we're still working on these on um, what art means to the public. Like, do people get... That's a great they, question. Do they shy away? Do people like that, that maybe aren't creative in this way? Are they sort of like, are they standoffish or intimidated? Right. Or what do you think? I hope not. I know I've heard people, you know, feel intimidated about going into a gallery and feel like it's something that you have to really understand. And it's not. It's really just, you know, looking at a picture and saying, oh, that makes me feel like this. And so anyone can just show up and walk in a gallery. And, um, and art is really about communication. So if I make this picture and you look at it and you say, oh, that makes me feel... Something. green or it makes me remember my grandmother's perfume or it makes me think about when I was at the grocery store yesterday or anything it's, and then that's all it is what about to you the artist I mean is this something you'll be attached to is it hard to release your paintings or do you paint them to sell them to the public or show or is it something that becomes very personal well for me it's about the experience of the of the making of the art uh -huh. um, so that's really the experience part for me um, and then it's really flattering if someone buys my work because they want to live with it so if it says something to you and you want to continue having that dialogue with that um, picture that's great I mean that's just the most flattering thing I can imagine this is so much fun I've had a lot of fun with you today we're gonna let you finish up here and uh, take a look at your finished piece I don't know how you decide when it's finished <laughs> What a tough question. It's a tough either. one. But we're going to keep going. I love what we've created so far. So you guys stick around. We'll be checking in more with Anna Redwine. And, of course, the information is on your screen to see her show, Nocturnes, May 25th at Gallery 80808 Vista Studios. We will be right back. I love yours. <laughs> 